Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Crew Bites. Today's recipe is ghee cake. Ghee cake is a very aromatic and delicious cake with a soft, moist and light texture. It's inspired by the famous Cochin Bakery in Calicut, my hometown back in India. This cake is very similar to a pound cake where butter is replaced with ghee. It's so easy to prepare and just melts in your mouth. So let's get started. So for this recipe, you need all-purpose flour, which is plain flour, two cups, four large eggs, ghee, which is clarified butter. You will need about one cup plus two tablespoons, about 250 grams. Hot milk, full cream milk, half cup. Castor sugar, which is super fine sugar, 250 grams granulated white sugar two teaspoons baking soda quarter teaspoon baking powder one teaspoon cardamom powder for flavoring the cake this is optional quarter to half teaspoon so now let's start making the cake so at first preheat your oven to 176 degrees celsius which is 350 degrees fahrenheit so at first let's separate the egg yolks and egg whites so to a bowl add the egg whites and transfer the egg yolks to a different bowl so here I'm using four large eggs and then let's add two teaspoons of white granulated sugar to the egg whites and beat well until you get stiff peaks so it might take around a minute so now we have whipped whipped up the egg whites. See how thick and foamy. Now keep this aside. Next, let's sift all the dry ingredients. So I've added two cups of all-purpose flour along with quarter teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder and just mix well and set aside. Now to another bowl, add one cup plus two tablespoons of ghee which is about 250 grams along with 250 grams of castor sugar which is super fine sugar and beat well using an electric mixer so that the ghee and the sugar are well blended and you get a very light and creamy mixture so i'm just scraping the sides of the bowl and continue beating the mixture until light and creamy so the ghee and sugar are beaten well and now to this let's add the four egg yolks do not add all the egg yolks at once just add one by one and just keep beating so that the egg yolks are well blended with the mixture now let's add the flour mix and hot milk um, alternatively so I've added some of the flour followed by hot milk do not add all at once and beat at a very low speed so that the flour and the milk are well blended in the mixture so continue to add them until you finish all of the flour and hot milk make sure you use hot full cream milk because it uh, really affects the texture of this cake I'm just scraping the sides of the bowl and just make sure that the flour is well mixed in the mixture so my final portion of the milk and the flour and mix it well so that you get a very smooth and light mixture so this is a batter after adding the flour and milk it's very light and creamy also adding in cardamom powder quarter to half teaspoon this is optional it gives a nice flavor to this cake and just mix it very lightly and now let's move on to final stage of adding the egg whites so now carefully add the egg whites in portions and fold in gently with a spatula or you could even use a whisk do not over mix um, it spoils the texture of the cake when baked 
so just be mindful about that just make sure all the egg whites are well blended in the mixture so add it in portions and fold in very gently so the cake batter is now ready see how light and fluffy the batter is so now let's move on to our final stage which is baking so this is a 9 by 5 inch loaf pan I have greased with butter and dusted with flour and to this let's transfer the cake batter you can also use an 8 inch round pan if you do not have a loaf pan just spread out the batter evenly with the spatula and then just tap it a few times to remove any air gaps in between and then we're going to bake this in a preheated oven at 176 degrees celsius which is 350 degrees fahrenheit until the cake is well baked it might take around 55 to 1 55 minutes to 1 hour depending on the oven so do check after 40 minutes make sure the top is golden and when a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean so the cake is out of the oven after 55 minutes of baking time and it's well baked and immediately when it's out of the oven just spread about one or two teaspoons of ghee on top of the cake it gives an added ghee flavor to the cake this is completely optional and allow the cake to cool for five minutes before you transfer the cake onto a cooling rack after five minutes run a knife around the cake and then transfer the cake onto a cooling rack and allow it to cool completely before you slice and serve now the cake has cooled completely let us slice and enjoy the cake it's a very soft and tasty cake it's got a nice um, flavor from the ghee and cardamom powder and it's very soft as you can see usually butter or sometimes oil is commonly used in making cakes but in this recipe ghee is used which gives this cake a distinct flavor and the addition of cardamom powder too makes this cake really special so it's a very simple and tasty cake store this cake in an airtight container and it will stay fresh for up to five days even at room temperature so please try out this tasty and delicious ghee cake i hope you all enjoyed today's video also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe like and share new videos are uploaded every tuesday and friday until then goodbye